So what were they discussing in Pentagon before they came to Orange House? Because by the time they got to Orange House, they were simply we were simply rubber stamping the call for people to come out in mass to do mass action. And uh, gentlemen, what was mass action? Mass action meant Kenyans coming out to kill themselves in the fields. Well, the allegations raised by a section of Rift Valley MPs led by Chepalungu MP Isaac Ruto putting the blame over the post-election violence squarely on the ODM Pentagon seem to have raised political temperatures. And these forced two Pentagon members, Tourism Minister Najib Balala and Water Minister Chari Tingilu, to speak out. The mass action is not about killings. The mass action is not about destruction. That's why some of us were on the streets demanding that we are heard. Our demonstrations was about mobilizing people and telling them this is the direction that we want to take the country. Because then we had no leadership that could listen. While stating that this is not the first time that political parties have called for mass action, the ministers were quick to clarify that during their meetings there were no minutes taken. I also hope he has delivered the minutes of uh, the meetings that were organizing mass action to Okambo. ODM Pentagon does not have minutes and it is not a legal entity. It's an entity or an organ created strategically to unify the country. The Pentagon comprised of six members including Prime Minister Raila Odinga, Deputy Prime Minister Musela Mudavadi, Higher Education Minister William Ruto, Water Minister Cherry Tingilu, Tourism Minister Nadi Balala and Cooperative Development Minister Joe Nyaga. Among these leaders, only Ruto has directly been linked to the post poll chaos in a report by the Kenyan National Commission on Human Rights. A section of ODM MPs led by Kipkelion MP Lagat Magerer and Gwasi MP John Badi have dismissed claims that the party organized violence during the post-election violence. ICC understands that mass protest or mass action is a legitimate avenue for citizens to express their concerns. If they have that information, please can you volunteer and move that information as quickly as possible to a camp? Sentiments also echoed by a section of PNU MPs. Pentagon vile vile walihusika kwa sababu wao ndo walisema kuwe na mass action. Investigators from the International Criminal Court are expected to visit some of the hotspots at the height of the violence in the Rift Valley for 10 days starting next week. Investigations into the post poll skirmishes might just be in the initial stages, but political temperatures among our political leaders have just started rising. But the question is, what will be the scenario when the ICC start issuing warrants of arrest? Chris Deru, Citizen 9, Parliament Buildings in Nairobi.